Organizers are working on final preparations and racers are getting in their last bit of practice before the World Series of Ice Drags. Yeah, Pauline Lee is in O'Connell Falls checking it out this morning. Hi, Pauline. Good morning, guys. We are out here on West Side Beach along the Oconto River checking out the World Series of Ice Drags this morning. And I've got one of the pro racers this morning. we got Tim. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going today? I'm doing great. Good. This is exciting. I want to talk about ice drags. Obviously, it's a snowmobile, but it's not your average snowmobile. So right. walk me yep. through what's the difference. This is a production Skidoo-based snowmobile originally. What happens was they we put a different track and suspension underneath and uh -huh. different studs. You can see the ice picks underneath, so that oh. makes it hook up really well. Otherwise, you'll never get good traction. Mm -hmm. And they're not regular trail picks. They're actually drag picks. And that's a requirement when we run here because if you run trail picks, you won't hook up. They'll just spin. So gotcha. that's different. And then underneath the hood on this machine, it's actually a stock production motor from the outside. Inside is totally different modifications done. Carburetors are bored. They can't go. To, uh, they have to use production uh, carbs on this one because it's an improved stock. Aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket clutching, and boosts uh, performance anywhere. Is, uh, we're probably pushing about 200 horse on this 800 prover, so uh, quite a bit different than the regular trail sled. So this is what makes it go fast. Exactly. Yep. How fast? This one will probably go around 115, 118, and an eighth. Wow. So in a race, how long are you traveling for? Uh, it's actually an eighth of a mile. Okay. And uh, this one runs about a six second flat run. So that's pretty good in the eighth mile. Six seconds? Yep. Wow. Six second run. So don't blink, otherwise you're going to miss it. That's right. It goes quick. Let's just talk about your experience. You've okay. been racing since the 80s, right? Yep. Yeah, I started racing in 80 and then I started running a professional circuit back in 84. Um, won a couple championships over the years. Yeah, I hear you're 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 the one to beat. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but we keep trying. Anyhow, you always got to make your record better. So my son's starting running now too. So, yeah. so that's kind of makes it interesting. So he was actually running this one earlier. So. Well, that's great. Yeah. Okay, and we also have the little kiddos running. Oh. One almost hit the fence. <laughs> we have Landon here. Obviously, we've got the pro circuit races, and then we also have the kiddo races. Landon's coming in. He's going to chat with us just a little bit. Let me make my way around here quick here. Oh, look at him go. All right. Hey, Landon, can you turn off your engine for me? Oh, look at that. Morning, Landon. How are you? Good. Good. So how old are you, Landon? Seven. Seven. How long have you been racing? Last year. You started last year? Yep. Wow. What do you like about racing? I don't remember. <gasps> Is it because you go really fast? No. You don't like going fast? Sometimes. Oh, you like sometimes going fast. But you like riding around, I'm guessing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. You're going to compete next week? Yes. <gasps> Are you excited? No. You're not excited to race? <laughs> You just want to have fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Good luck to you next week. Have okay. fun out there. Okay. And just head to our website, fox11online.com. Obviously, the races will take place February 13th and 14th out here, West Side Beach, along the Oconto River. You can see they're prepping the track right now. Things are looking great, and it's going to draw thousands of people, as well as racers from around the world. So website, fox11online.com. <laughs> and it just goes to show you never know what's going to come out of the mouths of kids. He was going, he was coming in real slow too when he was creeping up to Pauline. He's a very safe driver. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs>